Welcome back, everyone. It's Whiteboard Wednesday. Michael Lepore here to talk to you uh, about vascular surgeons once again. I already gave a first part of what vascular surgeons are, how we're trained, and why you need one. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit look inside how our lives are and what we actually do. I'm very fortunate to have a group of surgeons that uh, we're surrounded by here in Sarasota that have all been trained at the best programs in the country. All of us have taken part on many committees across the country and attend many meetings where we also present our data as a nationally recognized uh, vascular group. We're one of the only pure vascular groups between TAM and Naples on the Gulf Coast, and we're proud of that, uh, that that's what we basically do. We have become the firemen of, of the hospital. Why is that? Well, because unfortunately, when something goes wrong that requires an immediate fix from a bleeding problem or something like that, we're the ones they call. Uh, well, they could be in the middle of the day, you're on call, somebody in the cardiac catheterization lab ends up getting into a bleeding problem that they can't manage or handle and the patient needs to go to the operating room, they call the vascular surgeon. A ruptured aneurysm comes into the hospital and the patient's in duress is not going to survive unless they get right to the operating room, they call the vascular surgeon. Trauma comes in, especially with all these hurricanes, unfortunately, we've had recently, dealing with their pool cages, they cut themselves, cut an artery, they come in and then the trauma team calls us and we usually have to come in and fix it or possibly do a bypass or whatever the story is with regards uh, to those problems. Problems. And then certainly when patients come in, let's say they have an irregular heartbeat like atrial fibrillation where they flip clot off of their heart and it ends up going and lodging itself in one of the arteries in the arms or the legs or God forbid up into the, into the uh, brain as a stroke. Those are things that we have to come in again urgently and fix at that moment. And that's part of our jobs that we all signed up for. Uh, and it's an exciting part of our job, but it's also a pretty testing part of our jobs at times because it takes us away away from patient care in the office when we have to deal with these emergencies at times. So once again, vascular surgeons, as I said, just remember, we're the firemen of the hospital. Uh, we come in and we kind of deal with um, fixing a lot of these other problems, either from outside injuries, possibly other operations or procedures that have gone on, or somebody that just presents with an ischemic or cold leg or arm, lack of circulation, acute stroke, those kinds of problems. And I hope that gives you a little bit more information on who who we are as vascular surgeons. Again, thank you for listening to me on Whiteboard Wednesdays, Michael Lepore.